Thank you, Chairman Menendez, for having me and the ranking member as well for allowing Senator Hickenlooper and me to introduce Ken Salazar, President Biden's nominee to serve as the United States Ambassador to Mexico. Ken is no stranger to this body where he served with distinction, and Colorado is honored to call him our own, and I am grateful to call him a mentor and a brother. In my view, President Biden could not have made a better choice. The American Southwest embodies our braided history with Mexico, and I can't think of anyone with a deeper connection to the region than Ken. It, our, our history goes back over 400 years when Ken's family settled in New Mexico before America was even a country. Later, the family journeyed to Colorado's San Luis Valley, where they have farmed for five generations. If you drive down to the valley and visit San Luis, which is Colorado's oldest town, there's a stone marker identifying the state's first irrigation ditch, the People's Ditch. Etched into the stone are the names of farmers and ranchers who were entitled to draw water from that ditch because they were the ones who dug it. And the name Salazar is among them. And the valley is a sparse, beautiful part of our state, but it wasn't an easy place to grow up. Salazar Family Ranch in Los Rincones didn't have electricity until 1982. Ken and his siblings grew up reading with oil lamps. They didn't have phones or television. But they did have the example of their parents, both incredible patriots. Ken's father, Henry, served in World War II and became a staff sergeant. He was so proud of his service to America that he asked the family to bury him in uniform, which they did. When the war broke out, Ken's mother, Emma, also wanted to do her part. So she traveled to Washington by herself when she was only 19 to work at the Pentagon. Neither of his parents had a college education, but they worked hard to provide their family with opportunities they never had. All eight of their children, including Ken, became first-time college graduates. They were so proud of everything Ken went on to achieve, from working as a lawyer at top Western firms to breaking barriers as the first Hispanic American elected to statewide office as Colorado's Attorney General, to becoming the first Mexican American elected to the U.S. Senate outside of New Mexico, to joining President Obama's historic cabinet as Secretary of the Interior. Ken is exactly who we need to strengthen our vitally important relationship with Mexico, which is critical to the stability and, and prosperity of our entire hemisphere. But as this committee appreciates, the relationship faces no shortage of challenges, from immigration to trade, energy, resource management, public health, and the rule of law. Ken has worked and lived virtually all of these issues. As Colorado's Attorney General, Ken negotiated several extradition arrangements with Mexico, many of which remain in place today. In the Senate, he led important immigration reform with Ted Kennedy and John McCain. He shaped major provisions of the Farm Bill. He helped craft bipartisan energy bills. When he left to serve in the administration, Harry Reid and Mitch McConnell praised his leadership on the floor, and the Senate confirmed his nomination unanimously. As Interior Secretary, Ken negotiated water sharing agreements between the U.S. and Mexico and strengthened bilateral cooperation around conservation to protect Big Bend National Park along the Rio Grande. I could go on, Mr. Chairman, but it comes down to this. You would struggle mightily to find someone more qualified than Ken. He has the experience and substance to hit the ground running and a life story that represents America at our best. I urge the committee to advance his nomination with an overwhelming bipartisan vote. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.